Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has previously announced that Windows 10 will reach its end of support on the 14th of October 2025. So we've got just under two years before that takes place, as I have been posting. And as I've mentioned previously, we have over a billion users still using Windows 10. And I've always said that Microsoft will not be ending support for Windows 10 on that particular date because it's too much, um, there's too many users and too much market share involved uh, for them just to um, stop supporting Windows 10. Now it seems that um, Microsoft may have changed their mind. And according to a recent announcement by Microsoft um, late yesterday in my region, you will be able to extend your support for Windows 10 after October 2025, but it means now that you will have to pay for it. It's not going to be a free extension of support. It means you will have to sign up to their extended security updates, which is ESU for short, which means that's a paid service. So if you, um, according to Microsoft, want to extend support um, after the 14th of October 2025, and um, this announcement now means that you'll have to sign up to the ESU Extended Security Updates program. Now, just a quick recap um, regarding the end of support. When Windows 10 reaches end of support, um, Microsoft say they will no longer provide bug fixes for issues, security fixes for vulnerabilities, time zone updates, or technical support for problems that might occur. So that's basically what end of support means. It doesn't mean your, your OS won't work. It just means that the further we go on from that end of support date, things can start going wrong in your system, uh, particularly with security. Now, as I've mentioned previously, Windows 10 version 22H2 is the final version of Windows 10. And I posted a whole video on that, and I'll leave that in the description, which will remain in support with monthly security updates through to October the 14th, 2025. Now, just on a side note, this does not affect the LTSC, long-term servicing channel of uh, Windows 10. So um, that basically receives updates based on its specific life cycle. So it's not affecting um, LTSC, long-term support ch channels of Windows 10. Now, getting back to the ESU program now that Microsoft has announced. Basically, Microsoft has said, um, over on their uh, Windows Lifecycle website, and I'm quoting, if you are an individual consumer or an organization who elects to continue using Windows 10 after support ends on October 14, 2025, you will have the option of enrolling your PC in the paid extended security updates ESU program. The ESU program enables PCs to continue to receive critical and important security updates. So basically what you are getting now as a so-called free user of Windows 10 when it comes to not signing up to a subscription service. Now, you can continue to receive critical and important security updates, Microsoft says, through an annual subscription service after support ends, i.e. the ESU program. Now, at this stage, they say more details, including pricing, will be provided at a later date. So Microsoft wants you to now pay to be able to continue to use Windows 10 after the 14th of October 2025. Now, this is very similar to what happened with Windows 7. And they also say that like the Windows 7 ESU program, you'll be able to purchase a yearly subscription to security updates, and the yearly commitment is renewable for three years. So basically, they're extending the support and life cycle if you pay for it after October 2025 for three years. Now, um, this is interesting because this is the first time Microsoft will actually offer paid security updates to individuals. They have done it previously with organizations, but the first time organizations and individuals will um, be offered paid security updates. And just take note, though, that the ESU program for Windows 10 will then only include critical security updates, not new features or design changes. So basically... Um, with an ESU program, as many of you may know, you don't get any new features, according to Microsoft. You don't get any visual redesign changes. You just get the bare bones security updates that roll out um, on the second Tuesday of every month, which is Patch Tuesday to help keep your OS secure. Now, although this is what Microsoft has said, um, personally, um, I still don't think Microsoft is going to completely end support for your average home user and make you pay for it on the 14th 
and after the 14th of October 2025. I still think there's too much market share involved and I think this is going to be met with a lot of debate and controversy because obviously we have got basically a billion users still using Windows 10 and most of those machines, including mine, as we can see, don't meet the minimum uh, system requirements to run Windows 11. So uh, that's going to be, even after three years extended support with the ESU program, there's still going to be a lot of Windows 10 PCs that will basically land on the landfill. And I personally don't think Microsoft um, is going to move in that direction personally, although they have made this recent announcement regarding the ESU program where you can pay for uh, extended security updates for three years after that end of support date. But nonetheless, um, I'll keep a close eye on this one. And if any more info becomes available, I'll post and let you know. But as mentioned previously in numerous videos, uh, Microsoft has um, basically uh, been known to so-called change their mind uh, in the past. So um, like all things with Microsoft, only time will tell. And if any more info becomes available, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.